In this video, we're gonna look at how to properly mix insulins when you're gonna give them sub-Q. Now typically we'll mix an intermediate or long-acting insulin like NPH with a shorter acting one like regular insulin. The big rule to remember is that you always drop clear then cloudy or longer acting before the short acting. So first step, of course, is to calculate the total required volume of medication needed. In this case, we're gonna use an example order of 10 units of NPH and five units of regular insulin. So that's 15 units total. So the first thing you wanna do is open both files and clean the top of both files with an alcohol pad. To avoid contamination, you can use an individual alcohol pad for each one. Once you have your vials clean, you wanna grab your insulin syringe, and then you're going to draw back the total amount of air that you need. So in this case, that's gonna be 15 units. Now, insert the needle into the NPH vial and inject the dose of air for NPH into the vial, in this case, 10 units. So inject the 10 units of air into the NPH vial and then you'll still have five units of air in the needle and you can remove the needle from the NPH vial. Then you're gonna take that five units of air and inject it into the regular insulin vial. Once you've injected that air into the regular insulin vial, you can invert it and draw up your five units of regular insulin. Careful not to overdraw here. Draw slowly and gently just to five units. Then remove the needle from the regular and insert it back into the NPH vial. Invert it and draw back exactly the prescribed dose of NPH insulin. So in this case, that's 10 units for a total of 15 units. If you accidentally overdraw, you'll need to start over because you can't inject it back in and it's already mixed. So remove the needle from the NPH vial and prepare to administer it to the patient. If you aren't administering it right away, recap it and label the syringe with the drug, drugs and doses, date, time, and your initials. So to recap, you're gonna put air in NPH, air in regular, draw up regular, then draw up NPH. Or if you wanna say clear and cloudy, you're gonna go air in cloudy, air in clear, draw up clear, draw up cloudy. I know it seems silly, but it's super important because it helps us prevent cross-contamination of the vials and it makes sure that you get the right doses for your patient. Now go out and be your best selves today. And as always, happy nursing. Thanks for watching another nursing.com lesson. Click the link below in the description to watch thousands more lessons over on nursing.com. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe and the little bell to make sure you're reminded when new lessons come out. And if you wanna just keep watching more lessons, go ahead and click this video over here to continue learning. Like we always say here at nursing.com, happy nursing.